Have you ever wondered if buying a paid Unreal Engine 5 marketplace template is worth it? Or if you're better off creating your own game from complete scratch? Whether you are a solo developer or part of a team, this decision can make or break your project. So in this video, we'll be breaking down the pros, cons, and hidden costs of using pre-made templates versus going fully custom. And by the end of this video, you should be able to decide for yourself which is the right path for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're diving into Unreal Engine 5, you probably noticed that there is a massive library of paid marketplace templates available on fab these templates promise to save you time give you a head start or a complete game framework to build your game upon but are they really worth the investment or are you just better off building your entire game from the ground up in this video we'll tackle the question of whether you should buy a paid marketplace template or just make the game yourself we'll explore things like the benefits of using templates like faster development and access to professional grade assets as well as the downsides such as the obvious big price tag the limited customization and potential over reliance on pre-built systems so before we get right into the video don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because i cover all sorts of unreal engine 5 videos and content so that being said let's get right into the video so first of all i think we should start off by defining what are unreal engine 5 marketplace templates unreal engine 5 marketplace templates are pre-made systems or entire project frameworks designed to help developers jumpstart their projects these templates can range from fully functional game mechanics like advanced ai or multiplayer systems Systems to a fully pre-made gameplay kit. Essentially, there are these ready-to-use solutions that save you the time and effort of building a gameplay framework from complete scratch. The Unreal Engine Marketplace offers a wide variety of these templates at different price points. Most of them typically start around 200 US dollars and go to an upwards of 2,000. For example, some of the most popular or biggest Unreal Engine Marketplace templates are the Narrative Pro Complete Game Framework. Basically, it's an entire story-driven gameplay system. It has things like a questing system, combat system, there's things like inventory, gameplay settings, and so much more. However, a big framework or template like this costs a upwards of $1,400. Another massive template is the Hyper Multiplayer Survival Template Pro, which is basically an entire survival game template that has things like the inventory, crafting, harvesting vendors, combat, building system, boss AI, fishing system. The list basically goes on and on, but essentially it's supposed to be a complete gameplay framework which has everything from the main menu to the actual gameplay mechanics again a template like this will put you back around 700 us dollars for a personal license or 1500 dollars for a professional license now there are many more of these pre-made gameplay templates for example they have the ascent combat framework for around 700 to 800 dollars which boasts a triple a complete game creator uh, there are a lot more of these templates out there and these are just to name a few but hopefully you guys get the idea of what I'm talking about when I say, you know, Unreal Engine Marketplace Templates. So now that you guys know what the Unreal Engine 5 Marketplace Templates are, let's actually take a look at the pros and cons for using these gameplay templates because I want to be as fair to the creators of these templates as possible and also share my general thoughts and personal opinions on these templates after that. So arguably the biggest advantage of using Unreal Engine 5 Marketplace Templates is the sheer amount of time that they can save. Developing complex systems like a questing system, a combat system, inventory system, AI behavior, or even multiplayer functionality from scratch can take weeks or even months. Templates provide a ready-made solution, allowing you to focus on the unique aspects of your project rather than having to reinvent the wheel. For example, a high-quality open-world template might include things like terrain generation, weather systems, which will otherwise require significant effort to build and optimize yourself. Now, this especially is valuable for indie developers or small teams working under a tight deadline. Arguably, another major your benefit is the professional quality many templates might offer. Uh, these assets are often created by experienced developers and artists who specialize in Unreal Engine, assuring a level of polish that might be difficult to achieve on your own. Uh, for beginners, templates can also serve as an educational resource. You can offer insights into best practices for blueprint scripting, material creation, and level design. And by dissecting and customizing these templates, you can actually learn how to implement their systems in your future projects. Finally, templates can be considered cost-effective solutions when compared to hiring a team of developers or artists to create custom systems and assets. While some templates may seem expensive up front, they often provide a significant return on investment by reducing development time and allowing you to allocate resources elsewhere. For instance, a $200 template that saves you 100 hours of work is a bargain compared to the cost of actually hiring a freelance developer for the same amount of time. In short, when used strategically, Unreal Engine 5 Marketplace templates can actually be a powerful tool for accelerating development 
and enhancing the quality of a project. While the Unreal Engine 5 Marketplace templates offer many benefits, they aren't without their own drawbacks. One of the most common issues with templates is that templates may not fully align with your project's specific needs. Even with customization, you might find yourself spending significant time or tweaking or even rehauling the template to fit your vision. In some cases, it might have been faster or even more efficient to build the system from scratch rather than trying to adapt to a pre-made solution. This is especially true for highly unique or niche products that require bespoke functionality. Now, customizing these templates, which is arguably the main reason why most people purchase the templates in the first place, can be quite the headache. First of all, you have to rely on the developer of these templates to provide either detailed documentation or support on how to fully customize some of the assets, the gameplay mechanics, the features of the template. And honestly, I would argue that this can make or break the template itself because, for example, if you purchase a gameplay template that has lackluster documentation, or in some rare cases, no documentation, then you're basically on your own on how to figure out someone else's proprietary gameplay framework and how to figure out how to customize it by yourself. Another potential downside is the risk of over-reliance on templates, which can strive creativity and limit your growth as a developer. Relying too heavily on pre-made assets can result in projects that feel generic or lack originality, as many templates are widely used across the Unreal Engine community. Additionally, templates can be overpriced or offer lower quality than advertised, leaving you with a product that doesn't meet your expectations. Poorly optimized templates can also introduce performance issues, forcing you to spend extra time having to fix problems rather than building your project. This is honestly a underrated point because a lot of beginners in Unreal Engine just outright purchase an expensive gameplay template and immediately they have this quote unquote triple A gameplay mechanics that they can claim, oh, I'm making a game, but then they show the template with the custom character swapped out when in reality they are over reliant on these pre-made templates and they don't quite fully understand how everything works behind the hood. And this can lead to quite literally the same game being produced as the template itself is not being customized from beyond swapping out things like maybe the UI elements, the character assets, or the props. Finally, there's the issue with compatibility. Unreal Engine 5 is constantly evolving and templates created for older versions of the engine might not work seamlessly with the latest updates, and this can lead to frustrating roadblocks, especially if the template developer doesn't provide ongoing support or updates, and in some cases you might even need to rebuild parts of the template to make it functional, negating the time-saving benefits, and for the reasons it's crucial to carefully evaluate whether a template is actually worth the investment in your specific project. Now, I want to actually give my personal thoughts and opinions on these pre-made gameplay templates, or at least share what I honestly think about them. Now, when I started out as a beginner in Unreal Engine, I was actually following many other people's tutorials on how to create gameplay mechanics like a combat system, inventory, and much more. And this is probably around 2019, but around that time, I stayed away from purchasing any pre-made gameplay templates. And instead of that, I would watch free YouTube tutorials on how to make these systems from scratch. Really, the only thing I spent money on in the Unreal Engine marketplace was for things like 3D assets and models because I wasn't really a 3D artist and I couldn't make a decent 3D model. And over time, my knowledge with Unreal religion grew and I was able to make games without use of any sort of template. Whether that was a multiplayer game or really any type of game, typically my mentality against purchasing these pre-made templates is that I hate proprietary code or at least someone's proprietary gameplay framework. For some reason, whenever Epic would give away a free asset pack that was some sort of blueprint game template, whether that's an interaction system or something like that, I just never really liked or needed these templates because I thought it'd be much easier and much faster to actually just make the whole system myself. And the main reason for that is that you can actually create the entire gameplay system framework yourself. You're not only going to understand fully the ins and outs of how it works, but you'll be able to expand and build upon it very easily because you've built it yourself. So me personally, it's just much easier to create a gameplay system from complete scratch rather than to rely on someone else's proprietary code or gameplay framework and having to rely on their documentation to try and figure out how to integrate or modify modify it to your liking, especially if there's something that I don't like in particular about the way they've implemented a certain feature. So for example, if the creator didn't use things like blueprint interfaces, but rather casting, it's going to be a complete headache and a waste of time to have to go and remove every single casting node and switch to blueprint interfaces. So for me personally, I never wanted to purchase these expensive templates or gameplay frameworks because it didn't make sense for me. Arguably, I'd have to spend even more time trying to figure out how they implemented certain features features of the template. And if I came across a certain aspect
of the framework that I didn't like, I'd have to spend even more time either trying to adapt to the framework or figure out a workaround. Anyways, that's just my own opinion on these templates. Obviously, some of you guys might have your other thoughts and opinions on these pre-made templates. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on this down in the comments down below. All of the challenges with templates, whether it's the lack of customization, the risk of over-reliance, or the frustration with dealing with compatibility issues are exactly why I created my multiplayer survival game course. I believe there's immense value in learning how to actually build an entire game and its framework from complete scratch. And when you understand the underlying systems, you're not just copying, pasting codes or assets, you're gaining the actual skills to create something truly unique and tailored to your vision. And instead of spending an upwards of $500 on a pre-made template that you might not fully understand or be able to modify effectively, for only a fraction of that cost, this course will actually teach you step-by-step step how to develop a complete multiplayer survival game. You'll learn things like networking and server setup to inventory and crafting systems, AI behavior, environment design, all while building a strong foundation in Unreal Engine 5. And by the end of the course, you'll not only have a fully functional game, but you'll also have the confidence and knowledge to actually build on this gameplay framework and add your own custom items, your own gameplay systems, and much more. So if you guys are ready to move beyond templates and truly master game development, check out the link in the description to enroll in the course and kickstart your game development journey today. Anyways, I'm interested to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Do you guys actually prefer pre-made templates to speed up your workflow? Or do you guys enjoy the challenge of building systems from complete scratch? Maybe you guys had a great experience with a specific template or developer, or perhaps you run into some of the issues that we've talked about today. Either way, let me know down in the comments down below. I'd like to hear you guys' opinions. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Unreal Engine tips, tutorials, discussions. And if you're ready to dive deeper into game development and learn how to make a complete multiplayer survival game, check out the course linked in the description. And that's pretty much it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.